So good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm making you a video about ocean acidification. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use our own cellular respiration to form carbon dioxide gas. And as you know, carbon dioxide gas is one of the major greenhouse gases that we are putting into the atmosphere at greater rates than ever, um, starting around the time of the Industrial Revolution. Humans naturally um, respirate carbon dioxide. Um, plants obviously uh, take it in during photosynthesis. So planting trees and things like that really helps. Um, and what it's called is making a carbon sink so that it's a storage um, facility for carbon dioxide. People are working on this around the world. Um, one of the great uh, carbon sinks is our oceans. But the oceans, the water, can only hold so much carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide in the water makes it... Sorry, I was crooked. Makes the ocean water acidic. And a certain pH is okay for most plants and animals, but if it becomes too acidic, um, away from the neutral of seven and towards the six, five, four, three, two, one, zero um, portion of the pH scale, it becomes a huge problem for many living organisms. In particular, ones that have shells that are made of calcium carbonate that will um, react with the acid in the water and um, disintegrate. So what I'm going to do is use a organic um, natural indicator and what an indicator is is something that changes color in the presence of different pHs. So I gave you a lovely colored guide to red cabbage and I made you red cabbage juice. Yeah it's kind of stinky. Um, so you don't have to do that portion of it and I will put out a lab format um, and a, a lab to follow for you to do this at home but I'm basically going to demonstrate how you're going to do it today. So you're going to take some water. I'm going to use distilled water because I don't know you can just use tap water. I don't know what the water is here at PCHS. So just get yourself, I gave you two cups Put some water in each cup. Don't fill it up quite as high as I did. All right. And I would like everything back when you're done with it. Only because I can reuse it. And I'm into recycling, if you didn't know that. Okay. You're going to take one of the vials of red cabbage juice and put it in the first cup. Ooh, that's such a pretty color. And that's going to be your control. All right. So that's going to be your control. Okay, that's going to be your control. And as you can tell by the color guide, that's about somewhere between a 6 and a 7 on the pH scale. Ooh, that's a relief. Let's see if I can get this down here. That's a relief because um, water should be neutral. All right. The other one, I'm going to also put the other vial of cabbage juice into. Oh good, it's also neutral. All right. And a really good thing to do is to have some white paper towel or paper under it, not a black surface like I do. Okay. So let's see if I can put this back a little bit so you can see it. Sorry. I just don't want to stop filming in case. All right. So I guess I can stand over. Oh, I can stand over here. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'm going to put my top back on my jug. You can see I have my mask and my glasses handy, and my cell phone and my keys. All right, keep everything neat and tidy. Okay, and I also gave you a straw. Okay, so take it out of the wrapper. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave your control one, and you're going to put the straw into the one you're going to do the experiment on. And you're just going to breathe normally. Now, you really don't want to suck up any cabbage juice. All right, it probably doesn't taste the greatest, but if you do, it's not going to hurt you. Um, you can spit it out or whatever you want to do, okay? 
And what you're just gonna do is gonna breathe normally into it. So in other words, blow bubbles into it through the straw. Now you can see I don't think I'm making a huge bit of difference, okay? It might be getting a little, little lighter purple, all right? But what I'm gonna do next is do some walking. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get myself to respirate a little faster, all right? So I'm just gonna take a quick walk, I'll be right back. And being as out of shape as I am, you can tell that I'm already breathing a little harder. I'm gonna dump a little out because I have way too much in here. see that it's getting lighter purple okay if you use the background lighter purple okay it's hard to tell but you'll see it in real life all right now I'm gonna do some calisthenics and really try to get my heart rate up and my respiration up okay and I'm not gonna do it on camera because well I'm just not <laughs> Now you can do jumping jacks, running in place, push-ups. You might want to do this outside, it's kind of messy. Now you can see that it is definitely verging towards the pink part of the pH scale for red cabbage juice. All right, so that would indicate that we're getting down around a pH of um, more acidic. Okay, and I'll let you read the chart. You can go halfway in between um, you can estimate and things like that, all right? And that's all you have to do. Clean up is very simple. Dump it out, rinse out the cups, throw away the straw, rinse out the tubes, put everything back in the baggie, and um, answer the questions in the lab. All right, and remember, this all has to do with the fact that we are finding oceans to be more um, acidic but that is tempered by the warming of the oceans because warm oceans do not hold on to gases as well as colder oceans. So the warming of the oceans has also started to release more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And then there's also um, ocean churning, so that also has some effect on all of this. All right, 
You have a great weekend. Have a good, and we'll see you next week.